What is up, bros and brats? I'm Slasher44, and today is Friday, and on Fridays, we look at elite weapons, and this week, we are looking at the Bulldog Mancy, a really, really interesting elite weapon, one like no, no really other in the game. The Bulldog Mancy is really, really special because it has nothing negative happen to it, literally nothing. So if you look at this bad boy, you get up one accuracy, and you get a target enhancer. Now, it seems like nothing is bad with this, however... The target enhancer is a little bit of a pain in the ass, and I'll get into why in a second. So as we know, for the Bulldog, we're looking at 30 damage per pellet up close, 18 at mid-range, and 6 at long range, with 8 pellets coming out of that gun. That is exactly the same for the Mancy, and with a fire rate of 461. I'd prefer if that fire rate was a little bit higher, but unfortunately there is no variant for the Bulldog that has increased fire rate. On top of that, we are looking at 10% less recoil, which is absolutely needed with this gun because the target enhancer causes problems. I would much, much rather just use the iron sights for this gun. The target enhancer, like, you're, whenever you're using this weapon, you're going to be up close to people, so you don't need to see your targets any better. It's kind of like reverse psychology. It's like, oh, so I'm going to be up close. I better put a target enhancer on because I might not be able to see them when I'm five feet away. Like, it, it just doesn't make any sense having the target enhancer on there. So unfortunately, that's kind of like the bad thing for it. Like, it's, it's good because it gives you a free attachment, but bad at the same time. But here's why it's really bad. So normally when I use the Bulldog, I like to use uh, advanced rifling, uh, laser sight, and also I like to use a foregrip, because with the Bulldog, I actually do enjoy aiming down sights, because at a distance, you can still kill people, because you can shoot fast enough with this weapon. When there's a target enhancer, you can't use one of those. So, if I suggest using two attachments with this gun, it's definitely 100% going to be one, advanced rifling, and two, a laser sight. Reason being, with that target enhancer, you're going to be aiming, or not aiming down sights a lot, so firing from the hip pretty much for 90% of your kills. Um, every once in a while when they're further away, that's when you're going to use the target enhancer and actually aim down sights. Now, one other thing that's going to be a little bit interesting that I've never actually talked about is that there actually is no multipliers for shotguns. So whether you shoot someone in the head or anywhere else, it's just a one times multiplier, which really, really sucks. Um, I, I really wish they'd fix that. Uh, I know it was kind of part of Advanced Warfare, but a part of the game was always being super, super accurate with your shots, and headshots make a difference, especially with shotguns, because at a distance, if you can aim for someone's head and tighten up that spread and really aim all those pellets at the head, it was supposed to, like, kind of benefit you if you could do that and in this game that just doesn't happen unfortunately so there really isn't that much to talk about with the mancy target enhancer is kind of the bad part of it 10 percent less recoil is the good part of it but that's all i got for you today guys i have one question before you before i sign off here um on monday i always do versus videos and i'm kind of running low on ideas for the versus videos so what two guns do you want to see go head to head let me know in the comment section below and if you give me a good idea i'll put your comment in the video um so thanks for watching guys and until next time peace out